many verses of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how it is better to bear patience. I hope you've understood this. I want to spend a moment to speak about a difficulty that people are facing today. We live with one another in our families, in our homes. And sometimes we get irritated with one another. We make life difficult for one another. Sometimes you're making life difficult for your daughter, for your son, for your spouse, for your daughter-in-law, perhaps for your son-in-law, maybe for someone. You're making life difficult for them by doing what? By imposing on them things, by living with them without considering them. You need to bear patience because there is a great chance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can create a different type of difficulty for you in a short space of time. And this is why when you do evil, there is a chance that that evil will definitely come back to you in some way or another, even if you are to harm an animal. Subhanallah. Moments ago, we were speaking about giving because you know that this is the year of generosity and giving here in the UAE. And I'd like to let you know something interesting. I always mention this because I love it. Each time I speak about it, a new aspect of it dawns. So the hadith is in Bukhari where the Prophet ﷺ speaks about a man who was thirsty and he went into or he went down a well. Now, I presume at the time, the wells were such that you had to go down to get things. You know, if there is a bucket with a rope, it will go down. If there isn't, you have to go down. So he went down and he drank some water because he was extremely thirsty. It was a very hot day. It was a dry day and a dry season. And he came up. When he came up, he saw a dog. He saw a dog. Let's be honest. If you saw a dog right now, what would you do? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? It's a reality. We would run away. Hey, hey, move, move, go this way, that way. Many of us, maybe not all of us, many of us would run away. A dog is coming from one corner. We're already walking through the other corner. That's what would happen. So you can imagine this relation. And we do know there are more rules and regulations pertaining to our relationship with the dog than there are when it comes to sheep and goats and animals that we can eat perhaps, and maybe a cat or a kitten, etc. Dogs, there's a few more rules and regulations in Islam regarding your relationship with the dog. However, what is absolutely interesting is, this hadith speaks of a dog. There was a dog. فَإِذَا كَلْبٌ يَلْهَذْ يَأْكُلُ الثَّرَى مِنَ الْعَطَشِ What happened? The dog was panting and it was licking the sand from thirst. It was a sign of thirst. Very thirsty dog. So the man looks at the dog and immediately he felt mercy. What did he feel? He felt mercy. But guess what? He didn't have a container or a bucket. He thought to himself, this dog is as thirsty as I was before I went into the well. I was fortunate enough to be able to go down the well. The dog will not be able to go down the well. So let me go down the well for the dog. Subhanallah. For who? Not for who? For what? For a dog. So he went down the well. And he realized, you know, the best thing I can use to fill the water is my own shoe. My own shoe. So he took out his leather sock. It's called a khuf in the Arabic language. He took it out. He removed it. He filled it with water. He came up and he took the time. He made the effort to actually take that and to give the dog some water to quench the thirst of the dog. Amazing. Subhanallah. Allah loved the deed so much that Allah forgave his sins. Allah forgave his sins. 
I asked myself a question, how come this wasn't another human being? Why wasn't it a cat? Why wasn't it something sweet like a parrot or a bird that was feeling thirsty? So it came onto my hand and I said, boo, 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 boo. you know, drink some water, something sweet. Why is it a dog? It is a dog, I believe, in order for us to learn a lesson that there is a reward in everything that has a life. So if there is another human being who might be totally different from you in faith, in inclination, in ways, in so many different ways, in dressing, whatever else, totally different from you, for you to reach out to a human being is far more important than for you to reach out to an animal, although the latter is also important. What that means is Islam teaches us to be kind to animals, definitely. But Islam teaches us to prioritize. Like I've always said, if you have a, a man drowning and next to him there is a dog, you don't start with the dog. You know, you start with the man. And this time I gave an example of a man because the last time I gave an example of a woman and I heard someone saying, unless it's your mother-in-law. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. That's not on. That's not on at all. So my brothers and sisters, what we need to know is we will save both. The intention is to save the dog and the man. But we start off with the man, save him. We go back, we take the dog and we save the dog. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that he delivered this man from sin, or he forgave him, should I say, as a result of compassion towards this animal, why can't we be kind to one another? Why can we not be kind? Why don't we reach out to one another, become generous, donate and give, and try not to waste the excess, learn to reach out to one another. I promise you, you will achieve the forgiveness of Allah. If Allah forgave the man for a dog, what do you think he's going to do if you were kind to an, a human being? Subhanallah, common logic. This is amazing and we should talk about this. We should speak to one another about it because many people think I'm a Muslim, that's it. I'm, I'm a good Muslim, I, I just look down and carry on. I ignore the rest of the world around me. Yes, one thing is lowering the gaze. But it doesn't mean when something is happening that requires your assistance, you use the excuse of lowering your gaze to allow them to suffer. And you say, I was lowering my gaze, I'm a good Muslim. What are you talking about? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and ease.